Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Because this is the month of love, we've got a great compilation of videos that will leave you feeling warm and tingly on the inside. And a little scared too. But hey, that's why you're here, right? Let's jump into it. The concept of giants has always sparked curiosity and debate. For our first clip of the day, we have a giant sighting for you. A hiker came across this huge person standing at what looked like a doorway at the very top of the mountain. As if that wasn't scary and disturbing enough, the being just stood there and looked down at the hiker. I don't know about you, but that would have been my cue to leave, but not this hiker. He did his best to get us evidence of the whole thing. Having seen the clip, I can't help but wonder, are mountains more than just geological formations? Could there be a hidden world of giants residing in these majestic peaks, or perhaps are the interpretations of these misinterpretations of the actual facts? It's hard to say, but what are your insights on these mysterious giant encounters? Share them with us in the comment section. Our next footage is an interesting one. In the clip, someone takes a dead fingerling and dips it into the sand. Suddenly, a peculiar insect emerges from the sand, eagerly nipping at the fish. The observer swiftly seizes the creature with a pair of pliers, revealing a remarkable find. This is not an ordinary bug, this is a beach worm. Beach worms are marine worms that are often found in sandy coastal areas. They can range in size and appearance, with some species resembling long snake-like creatures. These worms are known for burrowing into the sand and may come to the surface when triggered by certain stimuli, such as the presence of food. Have you encountered any of these worms before? Care to share your experience? Nature is a constant source of awe and sometimes even a bit of fear. In this footage, massive rocks from the seashore mysteriously start moving toward the land overtaking the rails and encroaching onto the street. Mind you, this is not an edited footage. Just look at how the people around are mesmerized by it and are keenly taking videos of it. But if it's not edited, what could we be dealing with? We can't say with certainty which it is, but Julius has a few theories for us. According to him, the movement of rocks along the shoreline can be ascribed to the persistent forces of waves and tides shaping the coasts with their rhythmic movements. Another explanation could involve geological events like landslides, orchestrating the fascinating migration of these rocks and highlighting the constantly changing nature of Earth's landscapes. These are all the theories we got from him, but what do you also think? Skinwalkers are shape-shifting creatures. They can take the form of any being and live among us. However, there is a subtle detail that gives away their true nature. Take a look at this footage. For instance, someone captured this dog on the street and it looks like your everyday dog. But a closer look and you'll notice something uncanny about its appearance. Did you see it? Yeah, many who saw the footage believed that this could be a skinwalker, attempting to imitate a dog but missing the mark, particularly in the eyes. If that's true, then this woman has got to get this thing away from her. What do you think, though? In this intriguing footage, trees are seen swaying in response to the forceful wind, a common occurrence during windy weather. A closer look at the ground reveals an unexpected phenomenon. It appears as though the roots of the trees are lifting off the ground as the wind blows. How is such a sight even possible? Trees usually stay firmly in place because of their roots which go into the ground to give them stability and support. Seeing these roots lifting off the ground goes against what we know about how trees are securely anchored. Could they be fake? Could it be that the roots aren't deep? What's your take on the whole thing?
If you thought that was odd, take a look at this one. As the leaves sway in the wind, this tree takes a strange shape, like it was some sort of creature. It looks more like a bear to me, which is quite the eerie spectacle. I know, I know, it could just be my human trait to see familiar things in inanimate objects. If that's not the case and there's something more ominous happening here, then whoever lives where this is recorded needs to pay attention, don't you think? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Next, we have an intriguing oceanic encounter where an odd-looking reptilian creature is spotted with its head above the water. The creature bears a resemblance to a large lizard, akin to a Komodo dragon. However, the fascinating aspect is that traditional Komodo dragons are primarily terrestrial and not known for their swimming abilities. Seeing a head that looks like a lizard coming out of the water does seem strange. It's however crucial to think about the chance that it might be a different kind of creature or an instance of convergent evolution. This is when unrelated species evolve similar characteristics on their own. Marine iguanas, for instance, are known to swim and are found in the Galapagos Islands. These reptiles have adapted to life in the water, utilizing their tails for propulsion. But without any more details on the location of this sighting and clearer footage, we cannot really be sure of what we're dealing with. Does anyone have an idea? In this interesting water meeting, there's a mysterious black creature that looks like a snail without a shell. Many who saw it proposed that it might be a sea slug or a similar sea creature. Sea slugs, scientifically called nudibranches, are a varied group of shellless sea snails. Normally they live in salt water, so finding them in fresh water or swampy places is unusual. Is it possible that this is a species we haven't discovered yet, or does it possess characteristics that make us rethink what we know about marine life? Diver was on a seabed underwater going about his business when this curious fella came poking its nose in his business. Now what fish is this? It's pretty big with a huge forehead and very noticeable lips. I guess it's not predatory because it doesn't attack the diver. Julius whispered the answer into my ears, but I think this might do well as trivia. Do you know what this is? Kindly tell us in the comments section and do well to include an interesting fact about them. Now let's have a dose of interdimensional action. This black hole appeared in the night sky. It has this white ring around it. What could it be? While pondering such events is intriguing, some people approach them with a scientific mindset, claiming that this could be just an illusion. Optical illusions, atmospheric occurrences, or celestial events can sometimes create visually stunning yet natural displays in the night sky. But this right here feels eerie and looks like a portal. Some sort of gateway to another planet or dimension or even alien transport to our world. Who knows? The UFO talk is just so prevalent these days. I won't be surprised if a saucer emerges from this black hole in the sky. Speaking of aliens, this was sent in by a subscriber. They had retrieved this from their security camera. Take a look. As the camera oversees the house, in a few seconds, there it is, and a strange object flies by. What was that? When you take a closer look, it doesn't look like any insect, but looks more like a miniature craft. Are we dealing with some tiny alien beings, or could it be a drone belonging to aliens? I know it sounds ridiculous, but we can't rule anything out at this point. Either way, do share your thoughts in the comments section. Here we have another thing to ponder about. 
There are ancient beliefs in various cultures about sacred trees that should not be cut down. Some believe them to be reincarnations of their ancestors, while others believe them to be gods or whatnot. In this footage, a man comes across a tree with blood-like liquid coming out of it. I know there is a scientific explanation for this, but let's play the devil's advocate for a minute. What if this tree is one of those sacred trees? Think about it. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a giant or a big lizard or an alien after you now, would you? Australia, the one place I told myself I'd never visit because of the ginormous and poisonous creatures it houses. Just when I thought I was putting my fears at bay, this clip shows up. In the clip, we see a snake going up the staircase in a home. I can't tell whether the snake is poisonous or not, but this is a sight I wouldn't want to see in my home. I mean, I doubt I would be able to sleep if I ever do see something like this at home. Encounters with snakes in homes are not uncommon in regions with a variety of wildlife. While Australia is home to a range of snake species, most of them are not harmful to humans. However, caution and expert assistance are crucial to ensuring the safety of both residents and the snake. The person attempts to pick up the snake from the stairs, so it seems it's not harmful. Or is it just his pet? Now take a look at this creature right here. What would you do if you saw this in your house? There is no way I would sleep that night. It's a dog, clearly a dog, but there is a strangeness to its appearance that makes you feel uncomfortable. It's like a human, which is quite unusual. That is not a dog, I tell you. It's a skinwalker or something, because just look at this. Guys, am I just being paranoid or do you see it too? This next clip comes all the way from an icy mountain in the coded location. Pay attention to it. You see it, don't you? The silhouette of a person. Being able to make out the person from that distance is quite remarkable. And by that, this is what I mean. A human would have been barely visible, but this person or being stands out, which could only mean he's not normal human size, but ginormous. Is this evident of giants, or could it be the legendary Yeti? Delving deeper into the intrigue, some theorists suggest a conspiracy surrounding the existence of giants, proposing that these colossal beings may have a clandestine presence in remote regions. Speculations range from ancient myths and legends to alleged cover-ups by secretive organizations aiming to keep the existence of giants hidden from the public eye. What do you think, though? This person was captured at the moment when a sea of mud just erupted through a brick wall and gushed into the streets, flooding the whole place. Mud flows, also known as mudslides or debris flows, can occur in areas with loose soil or sediment, particularly after heavy rainfall or during geological events like earthquakes. This poses a significant hazard to communities as they can swiftly inundate homes and infrastructure. In this case, I think it was after rainfall because the weather looked cloudy. Or am I just seeing things? Sailing across the wide open sea is an adventure full of challenges and sometimes amazing moments. In this footage, some voyagers on a huge ship in the middle of the ocean come across this huge iceberg. At least, that's what the audio suggests. We hit some ice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Icebergs are formidable natural formations that demand respect and careful navigation to avoid any potential mishaps. From what we heard in the background, the ships did hit the iceberg, but luckily it wasn't something that caused any harm to the people or the ship. Personally, when I look at it, I don't see an iceberg. No, it looks like some sort of sea creature. But you guys can let me know what you think of the whole thing. Perhaps it's my paranoia at it again.
This one is definitely not me being paranoid. You see it too, don't you? It appears to be some huge octopus caught in a tango with the pillar. Its tentacles are moving all around the structure, which makes you wonder what exactly it's doing in such an unusual place. The mysterious situation with the octopus and its decision to interact with the pillar has led to a speculation. Some people suggest that the video might be AI generated, while others think it's the real deal. It is a beautiful drone shot. The kind of video that you might see in a travel video, right? Except it's not real. AI generated content has become advanced, making it hard to tell what's real and what's created digitally. The chance of AI involvement bringing in some uncertainty, making viewers question whether the scene is genuine. What do you make of it though, AI or real? In a chilling incident in the ocean, a woman's leisurely swim turned into a heart-pounding moment of danger. As she gracefully navigated the waves, the atmosphere shifted when concerned onlookers began frantically shouting warnings for her to exit the water. Caught off guard, the woman, fortunately not too far from the safety of the shore, responded promptly to the urgency in the voices around her. As she made her way to the beach, a collective gasp echoed through the bystanders. What emerged from the water was a dark shadow, unmistakably a shark, stealthily trailing her from a distance. That is why it's important to stay vigilant and respect the untamed environment of the sea, because encounters with marine life can swiftly transition from serene to potentially hazardous. Now, what do we have here? A pillar of clouds from the sky? The clouds, usually ephemeral and whimsically shaped, have taken on an extraordinary form, ascending majestically into the atmosphere like an otherworldly tower. The sky, once a canvas for the ever-shifting dance of clouds, now hosts this vertical anomaly, prompting questions about the atmospheric forces at play. As observers gaze upward, speculation and curiosity intertwine. Could this be a manifestation of meteorological rarity, an intricate interplay of air currents and moisture resulting in a captivating vertical display, or does it harbor a more mysterious origin, evoking the fantastical realms of the unknown? In the heart of the dense woods, an intrepid explorer stumbled upon a discovery that ignited a wave of speculation and intrigue. Here we see a skull that's unlike anything we know. The sheer size of the skull and its distinct features defy categorization within the known spectrum of creatures. As speculation swirls, some fervently believe that this colossal cranium belongs to none other than the legendary Bigfoot. The skull's proportions and the presence of elongated fangs add an air of mystery, fueling the notion that it might be a relic from the elusive creature that has long captivated the imaginations of enthusiasts and skeptics alike. The discovery leaves many questioning the boundaries of what we know about the natural world and pondering the existence of cryptids that may elude scientific classification. Late night surprises are often the stuff of nightmares and here's a chilling tale of an uninvited guest that left someone far from pleased. As the homeowner looks through the glass window, they were met with a spine-tingling sight. There, just outside the house, lurked a massive dark figure. It stood tall at an astounding seven feet, and its entire form was shrouded in a cloak of black fur. The creature's presence was ominous, blending seamlessly with the surrounding darkness, with only a pair of hauntingly glowing eyes giving it away. Now, the homeowner is convinced that this could be none other than the elusive Bigfoot, or perhaps the legendary Dogman. These cryptids have long been the subject of fascination and debate, with some claiming to have encountered them. But one question remains, is this a real-life encounter with a cryptid creature, or a simple case of mistaken identity in the dark, or perhaps even an elaborate prank? Share your thoughts with us.
Picture this mesmerizing scene. A smoky figure, ethereal and mysterious, spotted floating gracefully on a serene lake. As if that wasn't captivating enough, the creature starts to drift across the water, slowly vanishing only to be replaced by yet another smoky figure following suit. It's a sight that can leave you in awe and wonder or send shivers down your spine. It depends on the kind of person you are, really. As with many extraordinary sightings, there are always skeptics ready with their explanations. Some suggest that this isn't a supernatural event, but rather a machine or device cleverly designed to produce these smoke-like figures, adding a touch of wonder to an otherwise ordinary lake. This footage captured a peculiar and beautiful sight as a mysterious light embarked on a mesmerizing journey along the horizon. This luminous apparition, adorned with an otherworldly glow, moved with grace and agility, its form shifting and morphing as if guided by an unseen force. As it moved swiftly, the contours of its shape transformed, creating an ever-changing spectacle that captured the imagination. Such sightings often evoke a sense of wonder and curiosity. The mysterious nature of the dancing light invites contemplation. Could it be a celestial phenomenon, a natural occurrence with a scientific explanation, or does it perhaps belong to the realm of the unexplained? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you've made it this far, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Nocturnal creatures have special eyes that help them to see through the night and also reflect light. So you'll often see a pair of eyes floating in the dark when these creatures are around. In this trail cam footage, however, people are unsure if the eyes belong to an animal or something ominous. In the footage, we can see an unsuspecting moose standing in a field in the dead of the night. Behind it is a woodland, but in the woodlands are eyes floating in the dark. They seem to be stalking the moose as it moves strangely. Nature enthusiasts and skeptics alike are left pondering the identity of these eyes. Some argue it could be the calculated gaze of a mountain lion or a stealthy cougar silently maneuvering through the shadows. However, the plot thickens as a faction of believers emerges, suggesting a more cryptic presence. Could it be the elusive Bigfoot lurking in the darkness and keeping an eye on the unsuspecting moose? Now here's a truly bizarre encounter that could make your blood run cold. Imagine you're at home minding your own business when strange noises on your roof prompt you to investigate, but what you find is beyond the realm of ordinary. This alien-looking creature perched on the roof with its pink skin, an oddly small head, and the most peculiar features of all it's extraordinarily long legs. It's a sight straight out of a sci-fi thriller. The situation takes an even more eerie turn when the creature realizes it's been discovered. Without a moment's hesitation, it effortlessly leaps off the roof thanks to its remarkable long legs. The question of what kind of creature this is remains unanswered. A group of campers in the great outdoors stumbled upon a spine-tingling surprise. The creature they encountered was unlike anything they could have expected. It was there, looking around their campsite, moving on all fours, exuding an eerie presence. As soon as the campers saw this unsettling figure, they wasted no time and made a run for it. But sometimes, reality can be just as terrifying as a movie plot. The camper holding the camera, in a desperate scramble to escape, tripped and fell. When he glanced back, the creature was right there. The whole scene could easily be mistaken for a chilling moment from a suspenseful film. But for these campers, it was an experience they will never forget.
Hold on to your fishing rods, folks, as we cast our line into the riveting tale of a father-son fishing expedition turned heart-pounding encounter. The man went fishing with his little boy at a river. He handed the fishing rod to the boy while he filmed the proud moment when his son caught his first fish. As the boy was pulling his catch to the land, something unexpected happened. A crocodile emerged out of nowhere in pursuit of the boy's fish. The father acted quickly to ensure the safety of his son, rushing to pick him up and avoid any potential harm from the reptile. Unfortunately, the crocodile managed to steal the fish, but they at least got to keep their limbs. It's a wild and sad case, but we can't exactly call the cops on this guy. If you want to go fishing with your kids, stay away from dangerous waters. In the heart of the dense woods, this curious, mysterious entity revealed itself. It's a creature that defies any known or conventional classification. With the body of a human shrouded in a coat of brown fur and the unmistakable head of a canine, this being bore the hallmark features of the legendary Dogman. As the camera zoomed in, the creature's form becomes more pronounced, its presence both mesmerizing and unsettling. The Dogman, a figure steeped in folklore and tales of the unknown, seemed to step out from the shadows of myth into the realms of the tangible, if only for a fleeting moment. The authenticity of such sightings often sparks debates. Does this footage capture a genuine encounter with an elusive creature, or is it an intricately crafted hoax designed to fuel the fires of speculation? Now, we've shared and posted some strange creatures with some strange features of the months, but not many of them disturb me like what I'm about to show you. This creature was captured on a trail cam set up in areas where you typically expect trail cams to be set up. What the owners of the trail cam didn't count on was capturing something like this. Not only does its body, especially its facial features, look weird, but it also appears to have multiple hands. The owner of the trail cam quickly reviewed captures from other trail cams in the area and found different images of a creature with three arms. If you look closely, however, you'll realize that the creatures in the image, although similar, are not the same. Are we looking at an invasion, or is this merely a discovery of a once-hidden species? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Cemeteries are creepy places, and there have been various tales of strange and disturbing encounters that have left people traumatized. One such encounter is this one right here. In the heart of the cemetery, an unsettling scene unfolds as a bizarre creature is spotted engaged in an eerie activity, digging amidst the graves. With dark fur and arms that defy the norm, this creature is one that's not easy to categorize. Adding to the strange look, a pair of dog-like ears protrude from the top of its head as it meticulously uses its oddly shaped arms to unearth the earth. Could it be? Could we actually be looking at the Dogman, the one cryptid that's been a source of fascination and fear in folklore and urban legend? My paranormal enthusiasts seem to think so. Skepticism suggests it might just be a person donning a dog mask, creating a chilling spectacle for some unknown purpose. Still, there's something about the whole scene that just feels utterly unsettling and wrong. Can you find what it is, or am I just being paranoid? The next footage was uploaded by a Russian YouTuber with the caption, Desert Fish. I have believed a lot of strange things in my lifetime. Some of them were true and some are obviously false. But despite how easy it is for me to believe things, I find this a pill too hard to swallow. How do you tell me these are actually fishes swimming through the desert sand? If anything, they should have been cooked as they went through the hot desert sand, but that's not what we see here. The fishes are comfortably moving along the path with the men slightly ahead of them. Unless I'm just being ignorant, this may have to be something else, or perhaps CGI at its best. What do you think? 
Imagine just taking a walk to clear your head one night when you run into this site. Yes, that's a woman draped in a flowing white robe with her hair cascading like a waterfall. As if the sight is not ghostly enough, you can tell that she's mysteriously hovering above the trees. It's a sight that defies the laws of nature, simultaneously invoking fear and fascination. The air becomes charged with an otherworldly presence as she floats serenely, seemingly detached from the earthly realm. Who is she? A spirit? A ghost? Or perhaps a witch? Each of these is a possibility, making the whole situation not just mysterious, but complex and leaving the observer teetering between the known and the unknown. The Frilled Dragon Sounds dangerous, sounds scary, but what is it? Yup, that's it. As dangerous as it sounds, it's nothing more than a captivating reptile that truly seems like it stepped right out of a Disney movie. With its striking appearance and unique frill, it's no wonder these creatures can captivate the imagination. Frilled neck lizards, native to the northern regions of Australia and New Guinea, are known for their distinctive frills, which they use to intimidate predators or assert their dominance. When threatened, they open up their frills and create a spectacular display that's both breathtaking and somewhat magical. With their charming, almost mythical appearance, it's not hard to see why they might remind you of something straight out of a Disney animated feature. The classic Someone's Watching Me in the Woods scenario. This time, it's a lone explorer taking a stroll through the wilderness who gets that hair-raising sensation that they are not alone. Trusting their instincts, they reach for their camera, focus, and there it is. Behind the thick bushes, a creature lurking, concealing itself behind a tree. This cryptid shares the classic features often associated with the legendary Bigfoot, dark fur, and the ability to stand on two legs. It's definitely a scary moment when you realize you might be in the presence of one of the most iconic cryptids of them all, don't you think? How far are you willing to go to protect what you own and love? In this clip, we're introduced to bikers who are hanging out somewhere in the woods. Out of nowhere, a man drives in and then starts attacking one of them. The second panics, rides away, but soon returns to join in the fight. The aim is to help his friend. When he arrived, however, he too was attacked and given the same treatment. The video ends here, which has us wondering how the old encounter ended. It turns out the man was simply attacking them because they were on his land. Interesting, right? If this man proved anything, it's that he was willing to go so far to make things happen, but perhaps he was willing to go a bit too far. The line between fantasy and reality blurs in a captivating video that unveils what appears to be a lifeless dragon lying on the ground. While dragons are traditionally creatures of folklore and fairy tales, the recent surge in reports of strange creature sightings injects a sense of uncertainty into the narrative. The footage, though seemingly fantastical, prompts contemplation about the possibility of extraordinary beings existing in the world. Could this be a genuine glimpse of a creature that transcends the boundaries of myth and folklore, or does it perhaps unveil a carefully crafted spectacle, blurring the lines between reality and the fantastical? Let's delve into another mysterious sighting, this time caught on a trail camera deep within the woods. The image reveals a peculiar figure, and it's enough to give anyone the creeps. This tall, shirtless being sporting what appears to be black pants has some distinctive features. First and foremost, it's the extraordinary length of their legs that immediately grabs your attention. They're incredibly long, and the figure gives off an uncanny resemblance to the infamous Slender Man. The Slender Man, known for its eerie, elongated appearance, has been the stuff of nightmares in internet lore for quite some time. Whether this figure is a genuine sighting or simply a trick of light, we'll never know. 
On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. The world of social media is no stranger to the eerie and unsettling, and this TikTok user's video is a prime example. In this hair-raising footage, the user returns home after running an errand only to be confronted by a nightmarish sight. Inside his own house, a devilish-looking figure with glowing eyes is peering out from behind a glass window. The figure stares at him, unblinking and otherworldly, before eventually turning its back and vanishing into the darkness of the house. What's particularly chilling about this account is that the TikTok user claims to live alone, seemingly ruling out the possibility of a prank or someone else being responsible for the eerie apparition. Not to sound over the top, but I think this guy needs holy water in his home. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Do you believe in legends? What about ones about the legendary Bigfoot? Well, if you don't, perhaps this might challenge you or not. Take a look. In this footage, we're introduced to not one, but two ginormous creatures that are seemingly exploring the woods. They have obviously not noticed that they're being filmed, but looking at them, we can't help but suspect that they might be Bigfoots. According to the uploader, this isn't the first time he spotted these creatures. The area is a rumored hotspot for Bigfoots, and looking at their sizes, the gait, the fur, and all other features, I can see why even the paranormal community believes it's legit. But what about you? Do you believe these could really be Bigfoots? Let us know in the comment section. The resurgence of a creature long thought extinct unfurls in the mysterious photo captured in the Australian wilderness. In 2019, a curious man on a walk stumbled upon a strange-looking creature, a harbinger of questions that transcend the boundaries of conventional wildlife encounters. Described as having a huge elongated tail and surpassing the size of a fox, the creature sparked speculation and led the observer to entertain the possibility that it could be a Tasmanian tiger. The blurry image, though somewhat reminiscent of the iconic extinct species. Now before we don our crocodile Dundee hats and declare the Tasmanian tiger's triumphant return, let's consider the facts. The thylacine, as it's scientifically known, was declared extinct in the 20th century, and no confirmed sightings have been recorded since. So are we witnessing a Lazarus moment for the Tasmanian tiger rising from the shadows of extinction? Here we have a spine-tingling video posted on YouTube by a user named Satpam. The footage reveals an utterly hideous creature lurking behind a wired fence, and it's enough to send shivers down your spine. This creature sports a strangely like human appearance, but its skin is marked with the eerie black patterns as though it's been dipped in darkness. Its eyes are glowing with an otherworldly, unsettling light, and its teeth, well, let's just say they're sharp enough to give you nightmares. To make matters even creepier, this enigmatic being was emitting the most indescribable bone-chilling sounds you can imagine. These sounds would stick with you for days, haunting your dreams. The most baffling part of this whole ordeal? No one, not a single soul, has a clue about what this creature is or where on earth or beyond it came from. Do you? We have reviewed a lot of Bigfoot footage in our day, but never have we seen one so odd and bizarre looking. 
What's more, it appears to have eyes glowing in the dark. Naturally, this footage had a mixed reception. Some claimed it was definitely real as its facial movements were very realistic. Some also claimed that it didn't look like a normal Bigfoot. I expected the division to end on the platforms, but it continued to our office. My team members are actually divided on what this could be. So, could you share your thoughts? Do you think this is really a Bigfoot? If it's not, then what do you think it is? Embarking on a deep-sea expedition can unravel the mysteries hidden beneath the ocean's surface. For these intrepid submariners, however, their journey took an unexpected turn. In the murky depths, a webbed hand gracefully glides against the glass, unveiling a mesmerizing fishtail adorned in a luminous blue glow. The being's face makes a fleeting appearance, revealing hollow eyes that add an eerie touch to the encounter. The question echoes, could this be a glimpse of a mermaid, a legendary denizen of the deep, or something else entirely? The lore surrounding mermaids has survived for centuries, captivating human imagination with tales of aquatic beings embodying a fusion of human and piscine traits. Skepticism may cast doubt on the authenticity of such encounters, questioning whether the footage captures a genuine marine anomaly or an intricately staged spectacle. What do you think? Next, we have this alleged Bigfoot dash cam capture. And yes, I used the word alleged. Watch, and you may just see why. Do you see it? In the footage, we see a faint but very present figure moving in the distance as the vehicle is driving towards it. Within a few seconds, he disappears into the foliage. The individual driving is very convinced it's a Bigfoot and states his dash cam captured it. My problem with this is dash cams don't move around as they are stationary, unless of course he's using some modern type of equipment. Looking at the quality of the footage though, I can say I highly doubt that. What do you think? Up in the sky, high above the clouds, a chopper rider had a jaw-dropping encounter with a peculiar craft. This thing was no ordinary aircraft. It was circular in shape and zipping through the sky at a blistering speed. It was a sight to behold, and it left everyone on board the chopper scratching their heads in wonder. Now, when faced with such an inexplicable sight, the mind starts racing with possibilities. Is it some kind of advanced drone executing a top secret mission? Could it be a satellite orbiting high above? Or does this fit the classic description of a UFO, an unidentified flying object? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. This encounter certainly sounds like something straight out of a cryptozoology or paranormal thriller. Okay, so it's something, a dog or what? A group of people standing by the lake spot a creature on the opposite shore. At first glance, everyone agrees that it resembles a dog, which is peculiar in itself. Oh, la verga! <laughs> However, the shocker comes when, after a few moments, the creature does something wholly unexpected. It stands up on its hind legs. This sudden transformation from a four-legged animal to a bipedal figure is enough to leave anyone dumbfounded. But as with all cryptid sightings, there's room for skepticism and further investigation. Was this truly a face-to-face -face encounter with the elusive dogman, or could there be a more rational explanation for this perplexing event? Tell us what you think in the comments section. A sea adventure meant for joy and exploration takes a perilous turn as tourists embark on a boat trip to the picturesque Blue Lagoon in Tanzania. 
The journey, initially filled with excitement, quickly transforms into a harrowing experience when the boat begins to flood midway. Caught in the unfolding drama, passengers find themselves clinging to the pillars of the boat in a desperate bid for safety. The relentless influx of water becomes an ominous threat, prompting a collective effort to navigate the treacherous situation. Outside the boat, an onlooker captures the unfolding ordeal, providing a gripping visual narrative of the sinking vessel. The juxtaposition of the stunning ocean scenery and the imminent danger emphasizes the paradox of nature, its breathtaking beauty and formidable unpredictability. You are sunk. Okay. I never thought I would see these lights. A two headed deer. Right. I mean, we can all see it, so what's going on here? Well, different people think different things. Some perceive it's an otherworldly creature that's trying to take form in our world, which is why it has two heads. Others think it's a skinwalker that failed to transform properly. There are also some who think that it might be an optical illusion created by the angle and position of the deer and then the photographer when the picture was taken. That sounds logical when you think about it, but then there are some who think that's not it. They believe this is simply a glitch in the matrix. Frankly speaking, I can see where they're all coming from, but looking at it yourself, what do you think we're dealing with? Share your thoughts. This next clip is certainly one for the books. A couple in California had a rather unusual ghostly encounter in their home. They set up a monitor in their baby's room to keep an eye on their little one, but as they watched the baby on a separate camera in the living room, something utterly bizarre unfolded. Out of the blue, a ghostly hand makes its appearance waving at the camera before disappearing as mysteriously as it arrived. Now, you'd think this kind of experience would send most folks running for the hills, but not this couple. They remain surprisingly unfazed by the encounter. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out they firmly believe that their home is haunted, and this isn't the first strange occurrence they've encountered. Instead of running, they're looking forward to an exorcism. What do you think? Next, we have another intriguing natural mystery, but this time it's playing out on the surface of a water body. In this puzzling phenomena, you can witness what appears to be a peculiar white swirling pattern gliding across the water. It's an unusual sight, to say the least, and it's left everyone scratching their heads. Scientists, true to their analytical nature, are leaning toward a possible explanation involving an underwater tornado. It's a fascinating hypothesis, considering the power and dynamics of water, and it would be a remarkable natural event. But then, there's the other side of the coin. Paranormal enthusiasts are throwing a different theory into the mix, suggesting this could be a sign of supernatural intervention. Their beliefs point toward the unknown the mystical, and the unexplainable. So where do you stand on this mysterious occurrence? Is it the result of an underwater tornado or a supernatural incident we are yet to fully understand? Venture into the mysterious realms of the unknown as we delve into an intriguing discovery by a Bigfoot research center. At first glance, the image reveals a tiny body reminiscent of a human baby, yet covered in a coat of brown fur that adds an uncanny twist to its appearance. The creature appears lifeless, leading all who saw it to come up with theories of what it might actually be. Skeptics lean toward the notion of it being a fabricated creation, suggesting that what they are seeing in the image is a mere human-made prototype a cleverly crafted creation that mimics the elusive figure of a Bigfoot. The paranormal society, however, believes this is real, and I must say I'm with them on this one. What do you think about it? What in the web is going on here? 
In this footage, you can see what looks like some sort of transparent cloth covering the trees. But no, my friends, that is a blanket of spiderwebs. You heard me right, spiderwebs. This phenomenon is known as ballooning or gossamer and is a behavior exhibited by certain spider species. During ballooning, spiders release silk threads into the air and these threads can get caught by the wind, carrying the spiders with them. When many spiders engage in this behavior simultaneously, it can result in widespread webs covering trees and vegetation. This is often observed in conditions where spiders are seeking new areas or trying to disperse. For a minute, I thought I would have to get Tom Holland for answers. Still on strange and mythical creatures, take a look at this image. Looks unreal, doesn't it? But apparently it's not. The image was apparently captured in Romania by some individuals moving through the forest. It was supposed to be a day like any other until they ran into this two-headed creature. Fortunately for them, it was either lifeless or very injured, so they quickly sent for the priest, thinking it might be a Dracul or Diavolvo. Once the priest arrived, he asked them to go home. And guess what? The creature was never seen again. Bizarre, right? But what if it's not? What if there are demons in Romania and the priests are very aware? Sounds like Castlevania, does it not? If you love ghost stories, here's a bizarre one unfolding on a street surveillance camera. In this eerie footage, across the road, a figure materializes, and it's unlike anything anyone has ever seen before. It's like a dark, swirling mass in the shape of an otherworldly being, and it's enough to send a chill down your spine. The figure has an upper torso that's strangely bent in an unnatural way, and its head, well, it's a whole different level of weird. It's reminiscent of something you'd find in an alien sci-fi thriller. This being, or whatever it is, moves calmly and eerily across the road, seemingly unnoticed by any of the drivers passing by. If you're a bug enthusiast or someone with a curious mind, then prepare to be delighted by the whimsical world of caterpillars that goes beyond their crawling prowess. This man picked up a caterpillar from its terrestrial abode, but unknown to him, he was about to make a discovery he never knew he would make. He accidentally pressed the humble and was met with a tiny squeak that defied the known and conventional soundtrack of the insect kingdom. Who would have thought that these seemingly silent creatures harbored a secret symphony within their tiny, segmented bodies? It's possible that the sound could be a defensive mechanism or a response to pressure, but without more information, it remains a curious and unexpected behavior for a caterpillar. Unless, of course, one of you can explain it all, to which we're all eyes and ears. Next, we've stumbled upon an eerie encounter in the woods that could send shivers down your spine. James Jones, our intrepid YouTuber, recently took a stroll through the mystical forest only to stumble upon a mysterious figure that might make you question the reality of ghostly tales. In this chilling footage, Jones captured what appears to be a shadowy figure, standing stoically amidst the trees. The figure was wearing a hat that resembled the bygone era's military style. Skeptics might argue it's merely a tree casting a peculiar shape, but upon closer inspection, this figure looked darker than the trees around. Its humanoid appearance, coupled with an uncanny stillness, raises the hair on the back of your neck. Could this be one of the fabled ghost soldiers lingering in the woods? What do you think? Ah, Bigfoot, the iconic puzzle of the paranormal world. In this particular footage, a hiker had an encounter with a creature lurking among the bushes, which he believes can only be the legendary Bigfoot. Watching the footage, you can see why he thinks that. The creature in question has got a lot of fur and a build that's not common to any human or ape. 
There's no way it's even a bear. Looking at its posture and speed of movement, however, I'm tempted to think we're dealing with a much older Bigfoot. Either that, or someone put in a lot of effort simply to prank us. What do you think? Do you love lizards? If you do, we've got a large one for you. Take a look. This huge creature is none other than the monitor lizard. Monitor lizards are indeed massive reptiles that belong to the lizard family, Varanidae. These impressive creatures are known for their size, with some species growing to lengths of over six feet and weighing hundreds of pounds. They also have a powerful build, complemented by sharp claws and forked tongues, which they use to sense their environment. While they're fascinating creatures, it's crucial to admire them from a safe distance, as some species can be quite formidable. Do you believe in dragons? So before you say no, watch this footage. Yep, that's an actual dragon, or at least one that looks like it's emerging from the water. Although we don't get to see its full body, we can tell from just the head that it's a very big creature. Now the only questions we have is, is this real? And where was it filmed? Can this dragon fly? Can it breathe fire? Are there other types of dragons? And how have they remained hidden for so long? I know that's a lot of questions, but you can't tell me you aren't curious about them too, can you? If any one of you has more dragon videos, please send them in. We want to see them. In this next trail cam footage, we're presented with another mysterious situation. Here we have a deer minding its own business in the woods when something strange happens. A ghostly figure appears from the darkness and approaches the deer. The apparition moved very fast and looked like smoke. As soon as it gets closer to the deer, it vanishes. Now I know we have people who would say it was probably just a fog, but did you notice the deer's ear twitch as it turned its head toward the direction the figure came from? Fog or not, that deer sends something uncanny in the air. What do you see when you look at the footage? A white being moving stealthily in the dark, right? What does that remind you of? If you said rake, you're right, but you still have to wonder, what's it doing there? The one who uploaded the footage mentioned that he'd been hearing odd sounds any time it was midnight, since he was usually in the area alone. After days of psyching himself up to expose whoever or whatever it is that had been visiting his location, which he refused to share, he found this. He had his camera rolling, ready to serve as evidence for a break-in, but he ended up with something that not even the police took him seriously after he shared. What do you think? Had experiences like that? If you have, please share them in the comments section. As you know, we have always started with the most recent footage we have always found of our favorite big guy, but today he takes second spot. Do you see that? That's one massive Sasquatch, if I do say so myself. Now, for some odd reason, the trail cam that recorded the whole thing caught the Bigfoot running, and even jumping. I'm not sure we have seen Bigfoot do a combination of these things since we started posting as a channel. What do you think? Does it look legit, or is someone playing with our feelings? Share your thoughts about the whole thing. In this security camera video shared by a viewer from Barry, West Bromwich, England, we're introduced to something rather strange. A person wearing a reflective hoodie is jogging, and from the other side, a spooky figure appears. Both keep jogging, but the ghost-like figure disappears halfway through the recording. This was raw footage, so those thinking it's a hoax, it's not. We just witnessed a ghost jog by a house. These entities really are among us. 
Instances like these caught on camera without any manipulation spark contemplation about the supernatural and the possibility of entities existing alongside us. And with that, we end today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you have come across that you think we should feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family. See you in the next one.